All right, people. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can read the contents of a file someplace on your computer. You can either place this within the same folder as your C program or someplace else. I think it would be cool if we read a file from our desktops. So I'm going to create a new file, and this is going to be a plain text file. And I'll write a poem. I'll name this poem.txt. Here's my beautiful poem. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Booty, 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 booty. Rockin' everywhere. Okay, I'm going to save. And then I'll need the file location of where this is located. I'm going to right click, go to properties, and copy this file path and save it for later. Now to read a file on your computer, we'll need to create a pointer. The data type is file, and I'll name this pf. And I will set this equal to, then invoke the f open function. Pass in your file, mine is poem.txt. So if this file is not within the same folder as your C program, you'll need a relative or absolute file path. Since this file is on my desktop, I could use an absolute file path. So preceding my file name, I will paste that location. And then each backslash may need to be a double backslash because that is an escape sequence for a backslash character. Okay, the second argument is the mode. This time we are going to read a file. So pass in R for the second argument. Then it's good practice at the end of your program to close any open files. We will invoke the F close function, pass in our pointer, do not dereference it. And we will need one more thing, a buffer. A buffer is going to act as a container, an array of characters to hold one line of our text document, one line at a time. So let's declare an array of characters named buffer. And I'll set the size to 255. Our buffer is going to hold one line of our file, one line at a time. And to read a single line from our file, we will use the f gets function. And there are three arguments. Our buffer, this is what we're inserting a line of text into, a maximum input size. I'll set this to be 255 to match our buffer, and then a pointer to the file that we're opening. And again, make sure to not dereference it. So this will read a single line of text, and then let's print our buffer. So we're printing a string, and we are displaying whatever is currently within our buffer. So after running this, this will read a single line of text, whatever's at the top. Roses are red. Now, if I need to read all of the contents of my file, I can place this section of code within a while loop. So with our condition, I'm going to move the fgets function within the condition. If we reach the end of a file, fgets will return null. So let's continue this while loop while fgets does not return null. If we do not return null, then we will print whatever's within our buffer. Now if I run this, this will display all of the lines from my file. Roses are red, violets are blue, booty 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 rocking everywhere. And if you would like, you can add a little bit of file detection. So before we reach our while loop, let's check to see if that file even exists before we attempt to open and read it. So let's check to see if our pointer equals null. If it is null, that means we could not locate this file. So I'm going to print unable to open file and we'll create an else statement. Else, let's read and print the contents of this file. Okay, so let's say I get the file extension wrong. Let's say I'm looking for an HTML file named poem and I try and read this. Unable to open file, but if we are able to locate this file, we will open it and read the contents, and then close this file. So yeah, everybody, that is how to read the contents of a file line by line. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.